Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I got a request from uh, one of my viewers and that user asked if I could recreate the patch that I made in Silent before where I mapped all of these node on randoms to different parameters in Silent just to record some wacky sounds out of it. So uh, the, the request was if I could do it in Serum, Vital or in Pigments and I choose to use Serum because I haven't really done some videos on it lately. So I thought to myself then why the hell not? So anyway, the idea behind that patch was to test, actually test out the node on random device that my friend over at Mute Production created. But since Serum actually has node on random built in, we don't really need that device. Um, well, it's not, we, we can still use it, of course. It's going to give more variety to our patch, but it's not essential in order to make a similar kind of patch if you don't have it or if you're in a <laughs> different doll, like, I don't know, Cubase or whatever. So, anyway, let's try and explain the patch. So, what we need to do is we need to activate both oscillators. And then we want to map one LFO to the oscillator pitch of both oscillators. And then we want to um, modulate the rate. And I want to modulate the uh, note on random. Let's choose note on random two for the rate. So. Every time I, struck a no I, I hit a note, uh, the rate of the LFO is going to change, which will determine how fast the pitch movement is going to be happen. And in, in Silent, I modulated the oscillator waveform selection. And to do that in, in Serum, we need to ha find a table that we want to modulate. And since Silent is a really old school synth and is, an, uh, is a, um, a virtual analog subtractive synth, we need to head to our basic shapes over here. If we cycle through them, we have the ex like pretty much the exact same waveforms that we find in Silent. So I'm going to change it to both of these. And if we head over to our, let's put it on 50% over here. If we head over to our matrix, um, we can see that everything is good so far. Um, I missed something though. <coughs> Excuse me. I missed something though. And we need to modulate the weighted position as well. So let's go here and node on random one, node on random one. Now here's a big difference. <coughs> Since we're only limited to two different types of node on random, we need to be a little bit more creative to get more variety in our patch. And I'm going to demonstrate why. Because since they're locked on to the same value, every, <coughs> every time I hit a note, so I need to drink some water. There we go, much better. Every time we hit a note, it's gonna switch to the same wavetable. And we don't really want that because I had a unique um, like I had a like a unique randomizer for each each uh, parameter I was modulating in silence, so we could make a little bit different. Let's do something like so. Make it bipolar. Maybe we can offset this a little bit, and let's see what we have now. So now it's different each note anyway. Sometimes it can hit uh, like the, the same. I saw that there were sometimes it came two square waves, for example, but that doesn't matter. So what more can we do? Let's dial this up a little bit. Maybe have one go the opposite way and the other. 
it? I think we're getting there. Um, so that's a basic of our, that's like the fundamental of our patch. So that's cool. Now we have our little autoplay over here. We can change the rate everything is playing. Well, it's a little bit too fast. Cool. So let's over to the effects section. Um, I'm gonna go for the sign shape over here because I like the, the sound of it. And we can change things up even further. We can maybe do an octave over here. And to get even more variety of our patch, we can change the rate. And I mean, we can tweak this all day long. We're getting some laser sounds over here. That's pretty cool. But anyway, that's uh, like the actual, like the real basic, 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 basic patch. Um, and what I also did is I used a little beat repeat or takt slogs repeterare in Swedish sometimes uh, for, for these type of patches. It's going to give some kind of groove, but we want to have it playing all the time. So let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> This is a nifty little tool, if you're using Ableton. Set it to an interval of 116. Choose a grid 1 over 32. And the variation is going to vary the grid. So it's going to have like 132, 124th, 116th, and 112th, I think. Um, So it's a pr pretty pretty cool glitcher, and then if you turn down the volume and set it to ins mode, it's gonna. Uh, I can show you. So if you want it like more studier, then turn down the volume. So, yeah, um, what you can do more is. I played around with the equalizer and used this as a as a high pass. If you turn up the key a little bit. Make sure we're not clipping. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sure instead of the EQ, you can always go for the uh, for the normal high pass if you like. It's just that sometimes it's nice to use the EQ instead. <laughs> If you click aside, you can see the spectrum actually. Try a band pass. Maybe we want to modulate this with the node on random. You can get, uh, can go nuts with these type of patches. I love them. Um, maybe they're a little bit too random, but um, if you could record a lot of takes and just be decisive of what sequence you're gonna keep, you can you can uh, create some really cool sequences. So yeah, um, that's how we make a random nonsense patch in Serum. Thanks for watching.